would you recommend other campuses to implement a program like this? 100%. 100%. Just in this small group, it's illustrated to me the thirst. I don't really have a better word for that, but there's a thirst for wanting to contribute. I've, I've seen it in, in my classes outside of this, in the professors and the, the professional uh, people in industry that we've talked to. They have all indicated that there, there is a tremendous cohort of people admittedly younger than I, but nonetheless still completely valid, that are thirsty to help. They, they look around them and, I mean, Right now, just working as a fry cook is, for the most part, a means to an end. You know, it's just to, just so I can pay my bills. Uh... Even if I live close by, there's not enough time to, you know, do stuff on your own, even on your days off. You have to think about uh, being able to rest up in time so you can actually go to work. school, so I would take maybe one class per semester, um, but yeah, that took up most of my time. I would work like maybe 60 hours a week at some points. So what's your name? My name is Deborah Gilbert. I have been at MJC for 18 years, teaching English, but now I'm the coordinator, one of the coordinators of the Innovation Center, which is opening for the first time now. The surface of the white blood cell. That protein is specific for the cancer. You grow up a bunch of them, mail them physician, the physician puts them back in, and those immune cells go all over the body and kill cancer cells. Every immune cell kills thousands of cancer cells, tumor free in a month. For the first time in medical history, we we're talking about the C word, a cure for cancer. What's the catch? How did you say you like this program so far? Uh, so far, it's awesome. It's definitely like one of the most work intensive projects that I've ever worked on, but that's not a bad thing, you know. Uh, I always look at those, you know, West Wing shows or different things where they're working like around the clock trying to save the world. So it's cool to feel close to that, you know, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun and learning a lot. I, you know, I came into here learning very little about biomass. Um, and now I, I think it's already been a really great learning experience working with so many different people, especially from so many different degrees. I think none of us have the same degree, the same major. So it's really been cool to see how other people's perspective changes my perspective. But it's also a really great learning experience when it comes to jobs and careers. I already know that there's so many opportunities for us going into biotechnology if anyone wants to go through with that. Just because of the people that we've talked to, every single person that we've interviewed or had a presentation from, they've all been like, you guys are so amazing. If you ever want a job or anything, just reach out and we can talk about it. So I think it's just gonna create a lot of opportunities. It's gonna open up a lot of doors. You no, know, we have rolling brownouts and we're gonna use vehicles. Like it's just, it's not. And then the energy that's being used, like it's zero tailpipe emissions. But how did you get the electrical molecule, right? And the conversion of our gas to make electricity, which is a pathway, you lose 50% of the, so if we put in, um, oh, I don't know off the top of my head, like MMBT to kilowatt hour conversion, but we lose half the energy just in the process. So, so what you're saying is that just use our gas how it is. Yeah, yeah. So for the last two and a half years, I've been working on an innovation project at MJC supported by a grant from the Chancellor's Office and the Lemelson MIT Foundation. And the culmination of the grant was that we were sort of given the space, the Innovation Center, to do our work, which is um, 
at root solving community problems using a design process. Things, things are just, they're just not good. Um, the economic conditions are, are terrible. The political divide in this country is terrible. The, I mean, there was just an article the other day that was talking about suicide rates hitting an all-time high. Things, things socially and uh, economically, sociologically, they're, they're not good. And we all see it, we all feel it. It's impacting all of us. When, you, when a college is able to put funds into creating opportunities like this, we're able to keep expanding our education, our career, and exactly what we want for our major and still make money off of it, which is the sweet spot for a college kid. To be able to do what you love and get paid for it, other than having to go to McDonald's four days a week and do something that you absolutely hate just to make money, I feel like if we're able to create more opportunities like the one that we have now, then there's going to be a major decrease in mental health issues in college students because that's one of the biggest issues. Students get burned out, burnt out, they get depressed, you know, there's so many th different things that go into it and it's because a lot of colleges don't have opportunities for enough students. There are these rare opportunities when we have a chance to make a difference and to make a difference in our community. This is giving us an opportunity to not drive around and be so rudderless and just sort of led down a path. We are given an opportunity here to drive our own destiny for our community. The ambitions of this project are, are grand. If it succeeds, it will fundamentally change the Central Valley.